Okay, friends, we're going to work on our watercolor skills page in our sketchbook today. And the things that we're gonna be needing are a clean cup of water, um, some watercolor brushes. The difference between a watercolor brush and other paint brushes is that they're natural hairs and they're very soft. So we have some watercolor brushes. Um, and our watercoloring paints. Here in the Willowbrook Art Studio, we have different watercolors. We have our beginner paints, and then for our friends that have showed great skills and techniques, we have our Jack Richardson paints, which are really pretty. So we're going to work on this page today. For our wet on dry box, which is the very first one right here, we're going to use a wet brush on dry paper. So I'm gonna swirl, 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 scrape, 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 and it's a little blurry. Swirl, 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 scrape, 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 and then I'm gonna tickle the paint. I wanna keep my brush nice and straight, and it should stay like a ballerina or um, pointed at all times. I'm going to work on some watercoloring skills, our brush skills. So I want to see, um, you, you're gonna tickle inside the paint. These have been wet from a prior class, so we're gonna be very careful. You can see that I have plenty of paint on my brush, and I'm gonna lightly touch my paper. On this square, you can put a shape, your initials, try to write your name, or um, paint something that's on your mind. So here, I'm just going to put some wiggles here. You might recognize what I'm trying to do. You can see that my brush, I'm just kind of dragging it along. And since I started in the center, it's a little bit darker. There we go. All right. And I'm going to swirl, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. I'm gonna try. Now I could paint much lighter and then go over it where it was darker, but this I'm just gonna do wet on dry really quickly so you can see some painting skills. All right, the next box is wet on wet. What's fun with wet on wet is you are going to paint your paper with water first. Now my daughter, Brooke, enjoys drawing butterflies this way, so I'm gonna kind of do what my daughter does. She kind of has the head and she does the butterfly body here. And then she uses the water to paint wings. So she just goes out and the, the paper should be glistening like a fan. So you can see I go back and I have a little bit of water here. There you go. And now that the water, the paper is kind of is wet and glistening, I'm gonna use some of my paints and I'm gonna drop the pigments, the paints into the water. So you can see these Jack Richardson, these are very shiny, they're, they're very wet. You just tickle the paint. You can see I've got plenty of paint on my brush after just a few, and I'm gonna tap in there. You can see it spread. I can try another color. Ooh, these are very wet. where there's no water, you will see that it won't spread. There you go, wet on wet. Oil pastel resist, we're gonna use a oil pastel, and here I have a white one to really show you what it does. So I'm going to draw on my paper with an oil pastel, using a good amount of pressure. And then, there we go. I wonder if you notice what this might be. All right, and then I'm going to grab my paints and my brush. Swirl, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. And grab some color here, just a little bit. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Paint and wash over the oil pastel. You should see that the oil pastels resist the paints. These are really pretty paints. Very bright, fun colors. So 
swirl, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. Every single time that I go into a new color, I wanna go in with a clean brush so that my colors stay um, clean. And you also can see that when I'm swirling around, I'm staying inside the palette as best as I can so that um, I'm not getting the plastic wet. If the plastic gets a lot of paint on it, you might notice that they're hard to close or they stick shut. So there you go. That's so far we have wet on wet, or wet on dry, wet on wet, oil pastel resist. All right, the next box we're gonna work on is called water droplets. And here, what I want you to do is get your brush, swirl, 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 scrape, 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 find some, find a color. And what you wanna do is you're gonna fill in the box as best you can. Now I can wash in another color and kind of have that, those bleed together. That's the fun part about watercolors is that they can bleed together. And then what I want to do is drop some water droplets on here. Another thing that we can do if we get rubbing alcohol is use rubbing alcohol and drop that in there. You'll get a similar effect. So I have my brush. And I have some water on here and I'm gonna just tap it over the wet watercolor. And you can see that when the water hits the paint, it has it spread and it kind of gives it this acid wash look. A wash is using your paints. So I'm gonna have, I have my paints, my brush, and a swirl, swirl, swirl in here. A good amount of paint on my brush and a wash. You can wash many different ways, but it's basically, you're gonna start at the top. And you can see when I'm pulling my brush down, my bristles do stay together. I'm not mopping my paper. Oh, you can see what happened here. I bled in there, but that's okay. If I don't like that, I have some paper towels on hand and I can tap that. And now you see another effect. This is when you blot with um, paper. And watercolor's fun because it's, it is kind of forgiving. So I can go back and try that again. And I'm gonna wash, start it with the dark part and come down and it should lighten up. So you get an ombre effect. Now you can do a wash where you start from the top and come down and start from the bottom and go up with two different colors and you're, it would stay light kind of in the center. But this is basically a wash, it's just a fill. Crayon Resist works. This is the next box. Works very much like our oil pastel resist. So I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna press down with a crayon. Crayon is wax, so it should resist the watercolor paint. We know that wax resists um, water. So there we have that. And then you're gonna grab your brush and your paints. Let's see here. I'm really loving the Jack Richardson ones. These are so pretty. And you're just gonna over there now you're gonna see where it works and it doesn't work if it doesn't work maybe I should have pressed harder with my crayon and you're gonna and you can compare and contrast does the crayon resist work better or not than the oil pastel and if I want to play with some color here I can grab another color and kind of have it just play with some color there we go all right the last three boxes here, we have blot, salt, and then your choice. Your choice, you can try. If you tried a technique and it didn't work out well, you can try that or um, just try something new with what we have. I'm going to show you blot. Blot is where we are going to take our paints. Paint my paper. You might wanna try a couple different colors just so you see how the watercolors work. Try to stay in the lines, but it is fun to. Now see in my palette, this yellow has been used and the colors have been mixed a little bit. I can go in with a clean brush. Swirl, 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 scrape, 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 and it'll kind of clean up that palette. And I'm gonna go down the center in yellow and see what happens. Oops. I should have not pulled the purple into the red, but. Now I can take my paper towel 
and I can blot it. So that's kind of forgiving. I can try that again. Maybe I should have done red, then yellow. What also works here would be a tissue or paper towel or even plastic. And then oh, it looks really fun how that's doing that. I don't know if you can see it bleeding and I'll just tap, that's a blot. Salt is fun. Let's see here. Let's do some cool colors. Cool colors. with each other that's fine I really like how watercolors work like that it's a really rich color there and then when you have your salt on hand we have salt here and just take a little pinch and the paper needs to be wet if it's dried a little bit or if you've not used enough water this may not work for you so you can see here in the corner and what happens is the salt absorbs the pigments of the paint and when that dries, we'll shake the salt off and it's gonna look really different. And for your choice, you can do whatever you want. Here I'm gonna try a, a larger brush just for fun. We do have different size watercolor brushes here. The red ones are our, our general neutral ones, which are really great for our skills, but sometimes it's fun to fill in a space. This is a natural haired brush. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, let's see here, I'm gonna paint the background of my paper. And then when this dries, I'm gonna wanna go, oops, there we go. I'm gonna let some of that bleed together. I can blot some of it. That might be a little too wet. So I have the background. And now I can go in with a smaller brush. Maybe it's still a little wet, so it might bleed together, but I can go, I blotted it, got a lot of paint off. There we go. Swirl, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. And then here's some Jack Richardson. These just have some really fun, rich colors. I can add some details maybe here. And there you go. And if you wanna fill in the background, more. The fun part about the watercolors is how they just kind of bleed together. So you want to have a good plan. And then this part is kind of dry. I can go and remember that was a butterfly. Black has a lot of pigment. You don't need a lot to get what you want. I can tap there. Oopsies, that's a little bit bigger. Pull down. Hope you have fun with the watercolors and this is what we're going to do on our watercoloring skill page.